The family of late Mondi Urukwe, this inspector general, inspector rather, allegedly killed by a soldier in the Ojo area of Lagos, are still in pain. Wife of the deceased officer, Favor Urukwe, while speaking with TVC News, says there has been no contact from the police after the unfortunate incident. She and other family members are seeking that justice be served. Our correspondent Ivy Khan reports. Days after Inspector Monde Urukwe was allegedly killed by soldiers, his family is here to recover from the shock. Having reached out, we took a trip in search of his family. It is a long ride to Ota in Ogun State. Surrounded by family members and sympathizers, his wife held tightly to their three-month-old baby. She says her world and that of her four children has practically come to an end. On Wednesday, when he was going to work, so he left to work and he said, ah, I'm going home, I will come back. Normally when he goes to work, when he gets to work, he will call me back and said, my wife, I'm at work. So that Wednesday, he called me, I'm at work. I said, okay, I hope there was no hold up. He said, a bit hold up. So in the afternoon, he's supposed to call us back. I didn't see his call. I thought he was busy. So when it was around after four, I called the number. It was ringing in the peak. I said, maybe he's still busy. Around five, I called back. He didn't pick. I keep on calling. I keep on calling. Since 12 o'clock midnight, he didn't pick his call. Her confusion is worsened as no one from the Nigeria police or Nigerian army has contacted her after the death of her husband. See, now I did not see anybody. Not even the office. Not even. Let the government help me. I need justice. It's my backbone. It's the only one I have. I don't have any other person. Look at the children they left for me. No call from the station team today. Nobody. I am just left alone and abandoned. And he died on duty. For Monday's elder brother, seeing his brother's corpse at the morgue brings more pain in his heart. When we got there to see him, I can tell you frantically, as a brother, it took me time to recognize my brother. If you see his head, it's that's this. The wife wanted to go. I said, You can't go there. Because I know if you have gone there, something else would have happened. If you see his head, I have to go around him several times. My son was telling me, is he the one? Is he the one? I said, yes. I have to go back to my brother's leg. I look at the, the, the tongue. I told my son, I said, this is my brother. He reveals the information he got on how he died. They beat them, kidnapped them to this uh, 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 drug cantonment, locked them in the room. You understand? As I was told, it was one, a hierarchy officer that said, if this guy should die in your possession, you will face the lot of this. That was when they now have to bring them to the hospital. Not that they had the intention initially to go and treat them. And eventually my brother gave up. There are evidence of what abounds. The government cannot sweep this under the carpet because those that kill them, or kill him rather, seize their guns, seize their ammunition, took them to their station. So we can't tell me that you don't know those people. Very humble and very sincere. You don't have problem with anybody. If you say yes, yes is yes. It doesn't quarrel with people. If I've issued my wife, one that has come to my house, I said to it, what you need is justice. Look at children. We go take care of children. Now, as family and friends depart from this home, the onus is on government to fish out those that were responsible for the death of Monday and ensure that justice is served. Inspector Monday Urupe joined the Nigerian police 20 years ago before his death. Meanwhile, the Nigerian army, while paying a condolence visit to the commissioner of police, promised to investigate the Wednesday's incident. Ivy Kano, CBC News, Lagos.